Forrest Breifogel here. In this session, I'll be describing Enterprise Performance Reporting System, or EPRS software. EPRS software provides a vehicle for implementing the Integrated Enterprise Excellence Business Management System. EPRS provides a vehicle for orchestrating important components of a successful business. Also, putting together the puzzle pieces of a successful organization. A high-level description and benefits of IEEE is provided in the link shown. A high-level description and benefits of EPRS is provided in the link shown. Typically, EPRS software resides on a dedicated server behind an organization's firewall. Each IEEE EPRS metric spreadsheet is automatically updated daily from the organization's databases. After the update of metric spreadsheets, EPRS software is executed so that up-to-date metric and process information is provided to all authorized 24 by 7. I will now demonstrate the application of EPRS software as described in Chapter 6 of Leadership System 2.0. The home page of EPRS looks like this shown. We can have IEEE scorecards that are highlighted. Also metrics will automatically appear that are related to this particular level of the, the value chain and also projects that we are working on to improve the overall business. If we were to expand our IEEE value chain, this is what we would see for this example, Harris Hospital uh, value chain. The main functions are connected across the top of this particular uh, view and also the support functions are not connected. So let's first click on financial reporting. So the top swim lane rep represents the metrics that we think are really important for financial reporting in this organization. The swim lane below that are the related processes to this particular function. Clicking on EBITDA, for example, we can see what we call the satellite level view of EBITDA, where we're tracking EBITDA over five years. We can see that the process is stable. We estimate about 1.38 million per month, and 80% of the events are between 1.33 and 1.43 million. We can change the overall color for this particular metrics from green, yellow, or red. And in this case, it's red, which is unacceptable. So we're working on trying to improve it. We can also email this particular um, uh, slide or this particular metric to others in the organization making comments that we think are germane. We can also provide it links to all these metrics that I'll be showing you in this demonstration. If we go back to the enterprise, we could click on voice of the customer. We could expand customer dissatisfaction rate. And now we can see the overall dissatisfaction rate to be about 17.9%, which is not good. And we, if we don't like it, then we need to make improvements to the processes associated with that. Let's now click on Produce and Deliver Services. Length of stay is one of the metrics that we have here. And we can see from this particular 30,000 foot level chart, we have a stable process and we estimate the median uh, time that somebody will be uh, in the hospital is about 190 hours and 80% of events between 77 and 141 hours. 
Other metric we might want to examine is medication error rate. For this particular metric, we notice that it is again predictable and the estimated uh, performance is about 15.6%, which is not very good. So if we don't like this frequency of occurrence relative to medication errors, we have to do something different to the process. Let's now examine governance. In governance, if we're clicking on this particular link, we can see the IEEE nine-step system. And that's what we're basically executing and providing a vehicle for implementing through the enterprise reporting system software. We also can notice that we have an enterprise improvement plan where now we've got our business goal on the left hand side which is for step number four and there's projects aligned to those metrics so if we were to do something differently um, through this and it made a big difference then we'd improve our 30,000 foot level performance metrics and that would improve customer satisfaction So let's go in and look at what this might look like relative to process improvement. So if we were to examine this food service dissatisfaction rate, which is a project we're working on, we can have links to various PowerPoint presentations and have a description that anybody can access 24 by 7. So let's consider in voice of the customer, we went and made some changes to the process associated with it that's shown below. And then now we can see our dissatisfaction rate went uh, down, which is a good thing because of the projects. So what we'd like to see relative to the overall system and the implementation of the EPRS system is having projects aligned so that the big picture in this case we're looking at EBITDA uh, improves. So we can see from this um, report out the satellite level metric did in fact improve from the projects that we had in our enterprise improvement plan or the EIP. So hopefully this uh, brief video gives you some highlights of this EPRS system in a fashion that you can see the value for your organization. I will now return to my PowerPoint presentation. As I mentioned earlier, what I just described in this video is also described in Chapter 6 of Leadership System 2.0. Next steps. If the EPRS system seems like something that could be beneficial in your organization, what I suggest is that you schedule a Zoom meeting with me. Now this Zoom session can be scheduled automatically through the um, Zoom app that's located at the bottom of our homepage, smartersolutions.com. You could also email us or give us a phone call.